catalyst for the decision to run for president? It came about over a period of time. I got to thinking about the future of my country. I got to thinking about the kind of world my kids and grandkids were going to grow up in and asking myself, uh, does my country need me? Could my country use me? Am I at my highest and best use? And uh, I decided that there's something special going on in the country and that folks are ready for a serious discussion about serious issues and they're ready for somebody with nothing to lose but to tell the truth as God gives them the ability to see the truth. And uh, I decided that it was time for me to put aside the other things that I was doing and step up uh, again and offer myself up for service for my country. And uh, what do you envision America's It's hard to foresee. Uh, we really have to have uh, our eye on the goal, and our, our eye on the goal is has got to be success. We got a lot at stake. Uh, the appearance of weakness or division among our our, our people uh, can be deadly to us. It'll make for a much more dangerous uh, country. We've got to avail ourselves of the window of opportunity. I feel like we now have. Uh, in Iraq. We've got to finish the job in Afghanistan because it's a part of a much bigger global problem. We've had war declared on us by the most ruthless people in the world and they're de destined or, or, or uh, determined uh, to bring Western civilization and, and our country in particular to our knees. And they will attack us uh, if they possibly can with the worst kind of weapons imaginable and anyone who befriends us. There could not be anything more serious that. So we need to keep our eye on not artificial deadlines or timetables or what would be uh, satisfying to us in the short run. Everybody would like to see this thing over with. We've got to keep our eye on what is in the long-term national security interest of our nation so that we don't hand this problem off to the next generation. Um, students at Florida Gulf Coast University wanted to know uh, what steps you would take to reduce global warming and control auto emissions and other well, global warming uh, is an issue that's got an awful lot of publicity, and it's something that needs attention. Uh, we know, uh, I think, that uh, uh, the Earth is warming, but there are a lot of things we don't know. We don't know how fast that's happening. We don't know the significance of it. We do not know the full cause of it. We do not know the extent to which uh, there are man-made causes of it, or whether it's a part, a more a part, of a, of a natural trend. Uh, the earth has gone through various phases at various times. Uh, I think one of the things we do know is that uh, we have to address it as a, as a global problem. Uh, there's got to be uh, uh, international cooperation in doing that. Uh, we could do uh, a lot of drastic things in this country, but if we were alone, uh, it would make no difference at all. In fact, we'd still continue to go in the wrong direction because of what's happening in China and India and places like that. So we should not unilaterally take drastic action that's going to harm our economy. We should seek for a global solution uh, as we learn more and more about the causes uh, and, and uh, the significance of what we're facing. Uh, you have been compared to the late President Ronald Reagan due to your acting experience and Well, that's a great compliment. I, I mean, Ronald Reagan is one of my, my heroes, but nobody feels comfortably being compared to the, to, the, to the master communicator. But I'll point out that his communication ability uh, was not based upon his acting skills. He's kind of like me. Nobody ever accused him of being an actor, really, until he got into politics. Uh, but it was because of, of his beliefs. It was believable because he believed so strongly. Uh, in his beliefs, and he stood to uh, uh, to them, and uh, you know, even when uh, they were unpopular, uh, that's why he was so effective. I mean, people could see through to his heart and tell that he was telling them what he believed to be the truth. And uh, anybody would be honored to have that comparison made, uh, but uh, you know, not any comparison as far as any skills are concerned, because there'll only be one Ronald Reagan.